여러분 안녕하십니까? Hello everyone. 마가 본제 43강입니다. This is a lecture number of 43 for the Gospel of Mark. 5장 15절에서 20절 사이의 말씀인데요. I will read to you from Mark chapter 5 verses 15 through 20. 예수께 이르러 그 귀신 들었던 자고 군대 집했던 자가 옷을 입고 정신 온전히 입어 앉은 것을 보고 두려워하더라. And they came to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind and they were afraid. 이에 귀신 들었던 자의 당한 것과 대지의 일을 본 자들 제게 고함에. And they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil and also concerning the swine. 제가 예수께 그 지경에 떠나가시기를 간구하더라. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coasts. 예수께 배에 오르실 때 귀신 들었던 사람이 함께 있기를 간구하였으나. And when he was coming to the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. 그렇게 아니하 하시고 저의 길이시되 집으로 돌아가 죽게 했는데 어떻게 큰일 행하신 너희 불쌍히 내 친족에게 고하라 하시니. How be it, Jesus suffered him not, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee and hath had compassion on thee. 그가서 예수께서 자기에게 어떻게 큰일 행하신 대를 And he departed and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Jesus had done for him, and all men did marvel. In 1962, I was struggling in sin. I was praying, begging for forgiveness. But one day, God gave me the heart within me that my sins are forgiven. And from then on, my life started to change. And I told everyone, you need to receive the forgiveness of sins. And at that time, I told the people at my church, "You need to receive forgiveness of sins." 제가 이제 상당히 이제 죄사함을 받아 이야기하다 보니 당사 좀 부딪히게 됐는데. And as I spoke to people that they needed to receive forgiveness of sins, I began to collide with people. 그 내가 당연 죄사함을 받아야 한다 하고 죄사함 받는 이야기를 할때내 마음 늘 충만해져 있는 걸 느낄 수가 있어. And whenever I was telling people they need to receive the forgiveness of sins, I could see my heart was filled with joy. 이제 귀신 들린 자가 이제 예수님으로만 귀신 쫓겨났는데. The demon possessed man had his demon cast out by Jesus. 이 귀신 들던 사람이 좀 불안한 게 하나 있는 것은. But there was one thing that this demon possessed man was afraid of. 만약 예수님이 떠나가시고 난 뒤에. Is that after Jesus leaves? 다시 귀신 내게 오면은. If the demon comes back to me again. 내가 어떻게 그걸 이기지? How will I overcome it then? 그런 두려움이 귀신 들린 사람에게 있을 수 있습니다. The demon-possessed man could have that kind of a fear. But the amazing thing is, 예수님께서 같이 있기를 구했는데 예수님 허락지 않으셨어요. And Jesus, he asked Jesus stay with him, but Jesus did not allow it. 그리고 뭐라고 말씀하셨냐면, and then what did Jesus say to him? 이렇게 말씀하셨어요. Jesus said this. 그 배에 오르실 때 귀신 들렸던 사람 함께 있기를 간과했으나, and when he was coming to the ship, he had that had been possessed with the devil, prayed him that he might be with him. 허락지 아니하시고 저의 길을 시대. 집으로 돌아 주께서 내게 어떻게 큰일 행하사 너를 부상이 그런 내 친소에 고하라 하신다. How be it Jesus suffered him not, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee and hath had compassion on thee. 이제 이 사람이 이제 무슨 행하냐면 예수님 떠나고 나면 귀신 다시 나를 정리하고 어떨까 그런 두려움이 있었는지 모르겠는데. Maybe this man was afraid. What if after Jesus departs, the demon takes over me again? 근데 예수님은 그 허락 잘하셨어요. But Jesus did not allow him to go with Jesus. 뭐라고 말씀하셨냐? But he said to him. 가서 네 친족들에게 어떻게 내가 은혜를 베푼 거 내게 행하신 거들 이야기하라. Go home to your friends and tell them how this compassion and this grace was given to thee. 그래서 이제 귀신 들린 사람 예수님이 떠나가신 뒤에. So after Jesus departed. 가가 이제 친척들에게 만난 사람들에게 이야기하기 시작했어요. The man who used to be possessed by demons began to tell his family and relatives. 아, 그때 악령이 귀신 내 마음속에 들어 나를 막 끌고 다녔는데. The evil spirit, the demons used to possess me and drag me around. 예수님을 만났다. But I met Jesus. 그 예수님만 그 예수님 귀신을 쫓아내 주시더라. I met Jesus and Jesus cast out the demons from me. 귀신 예수님을 꼼짝 못하더라. And the demons couldn't do anything in front of Jesus. 이 이야기를 하라고 그런 거예요. And Jesus told him to speak these things. 그리 병자가 가서 이제 이제 친족 친족들의 뭐 삼촌 사촌에게 내가 어떻게 그 기세 저 나왔다. And this man went to his relatives, uncles and cousins, and told them this was how I was healed from the demon. 
그때 무슨 얘기를 하면은 And right then you would tell them 그때 아가씨 나는 무덤 사이에 있었다 I used to live in the tombs 그 돌로 내 몸을 상했고 And cut my body with the stones 내가 소리 지으면 막 그랬는데 I used to scream and then be running around 내가 한게 아니었다 But it was not me that was doing that 나한테 악령이 귀신이 돌아 나를 그렇게 했는데 It was the demon, the evil spirit that made me do that 난내 힘으로 그 귀신을 쫓아낼 수가 없었다 And with my own strength I could not cast out the demon 예수님이 오셔서 내 속에 있는 귀신을 나가라고 하셨고 But Jesus came and had the demon in me depart 귀신들이 막 나갈 데가 없어 간 데가다 막 돼지기 들어가게 해달라고 애원을 해서 And the demons had nowhere to go so they begged can we go into the pigs and Jesus allowed them 이제 그 이야기를 하라는 거죠 And go ahead and tell them that Jesus was telling him 그리고 이 경자가 예수님 같이 있고 싶은데 So this man wanted to be with Jesus 예수님 이제 바쁘신 일만 가시고 But Jesus had much to do Jesus left 이제 그 친정들이 그 이야기를 하라고 그러니까 And told him instead to go tell your family about what had happened 무슨 일이 나냐면은 And after that what happened 이제 그 친족들에게 내가 그 삼촌 내가 맞이 그래가지고 무덤 속에 살고 있었고 He told his relatives hey uncle you know what 돌로 막내 몸을 상하게 했고 I was living in the tomb Cutting myself with the stones. 이제 그거 내가 한게내 안에 귀신도 나를 그렇게 인도했다. But that wasn't me. It was the demon in me leading me to live like that. 나는 귀신을 이길 만한 힘이었기 때문에. I don't have the power to defeat the demon. 너 귀신에 끌려 다녀야 했다. I was always dragged around by the demon. 근데 참 그날 예수님이 오시더라. But uncle, that day Jesus came. 예수님 오시니까 그만 귀신이 꼼짝 못 하더라. And when Jesus showed up, the demons couldn't do anything. 그러니까 이 귀신들했던 사람은 so the man who was demon possessed 주님께서 어떻게 너를 불쌍히 내 친족이 만나지 구하라 그러니까 when Jesus told him go home and tell them every day what the Lord has done for you 형님한테 to his brothers 어머한테, to his aunts 다른 작은 아버지한테 to his uncles 큰 아버지한테 to his older uncles 사촌에게 이야기할 때마다 cousins and nephews he told them all about it 그 이야기를 하는데 he would speak to them what happened 뭘 경험하냐면 and through it what does he experience 내가 악한 영에 매여가지고 끌려 다니다가 I used to be bound by the evil spirit dragged around 예수님이 오셔서 but Jesus came 나에게 여사 귀신 꼼짝못 도망가더라 and when Jesus worked the demon couldn't do anything 그 and it left 예수님 만나니까 모든 일다 해결되더라 once I met that Jesus everything was taken care of 귀신도 떠나고 the demon left 내 바른 마음도 갖게 되고 I got to have a new heart 이렇게 좋아지더라 and things got better 그 이야기 할때 and when he spoke that 귀신 들은 사람이 마음속에 뭐가 있었겠어요? The demon possessed man what came to his heart now? 예수님이 마음에 가득 찬 거예요. His heart is now packed with Jesus. 그 이야기를 할 때마다 예수님이 있으네 예수님이 있으면 이 귀신을 이겨. And whenever he speaks 귀신 꼼짝 못해. Jesus can defeat the demon. The demon can do anything. Jesus helps me. 그 마음으로 now he became full of that heart. And that is what's so amazing. In 1976, I started a small church in Daegu. I was working for the gospel in Kimcheon. God gave me the heart to begin a missionary school to rear up and train gospel preachers. And I thought we were in need of so many preachers and this was very important. And there was nobody else working together with me for this. At first I wanted to do this with missionary McAfee but God did not allow it. And I had several other plans but all of it fell apart. And so I was working in Kimcheon. I was working in Kimcheon and several people got saved. I wanted to nourish them, grow them into precious gospel preachers. And to do that, I came to Daegu. And it was 1974. At that time, my wife was pregnant. My first child was a daughter. And my daughter was born in 74. And this was in 76. And then in my church we had about 25 church members. And back then we were very poor and we were in difficulty. And that day I had no lunch and it became dinner time. 
또못 먹고. And so we had nothing to eat for dinner. 어떤 사람이 다른 도시에서 우리 집에 말씀을 들으러 왔어. And some person from a different city came over to my house to listen to the word. 그 시간에 복음을 쭉 전했는데. And then I preached the gospel to him. 그때 작은 방에 있었고. And at that time we were in a small room. 제 아내는 이제 애기 배가 불러가지고 어떻게 벽에 그 이불 뒤 기대 있었는데. And my wife, she was pregnant and she was leaning back against the blankets on the wall. 아, 그분에게 복음을 쭉 전했어. And that new person I preached the gospel to him. And around 9 p.m. he received the forgiveness of sins and he was so happy. And then I walked him out the door and he left. And after that, when I came into the room, my wife was very flustered. You know, when you're speaking, why do you put in so much nonsense? I thought, what's wrong with her? The man just received the forgiveness of sins and he's rejoicing. Later on, I found out my wife was beginning to have contractions. And then she saw how I was preaching so long. So she was getting frustrated. But if she says that she's having contractions, she thought I'm going to stop preaching the gospel to him. That's why she didn't show it. And so afterwards, I said, "Oh, I'm sorry. Next time, I'll keep it quick." But we had no money at the time, and I did not know what to do. And immediately, what came to my mind was, if I call the church brothers or deacons or elders of the church, they'll come and help me out. But in my heart, I cannot allow that. I'm a servant of God. So truly, God is alive. I want to seek of God. I don't want to seek of man. And so I did not say anything. I waited for the grace of God. I prayed and prayed and prayed to God. It became 10 at night, 11 at night, and it became midnight. And it was deep into the night. And I was very really afraid in my heart. What if the baby comes out like this? But in my heart, if I just call one of the church members, they'll come and help me out. But I thought in difficulties, I don't want to use humanistic methods. I want to rely on God. It became 1 a.m., 2 a.m. And my wife was struggling with the constructions. She was screaming. And I was hoping she wouldn't scream so loud, but she was in so much pain. And we really felt lost. There was no one to help us. But I have God. I prayed. But the day began to break early in the morning. And so my wife, she has her contraction frequencies. The contractions became more and more frequent. Oh, what if the baby comes out? I was afraid. But around seven in the morning. A sister who just started coming to our church for I don't know reason came over to my house to meet my wife. And she came into our room. And that sister saw my wife having contractions and she was shocked. And that sister opened her mouth and said, Ma'am, I worked at the gynecology at the Busan Ilshin Hospital. And I have a midwife license. So please wait just a little bit. And then she ran outside. And she came running back with a big bag. And so she returned with her bag and then in less than 30 minutes my son was born. And, and God so accurately sent that sister to us at the right time. And then after that, she looked in our kitchen. We had nothing in our kitchen. So she ran outside again and bought rice. And in Korea, if you give birth, you're supposed to eat seaweed soup. So she bought seaweed and bought beef. And so around 10 in the morning, 
식사를 할 수가 있었어요. We were able to eat. 그 하나님이 안 잊어버리네. And I cannot forget that God. 내가 곧 이제 그 누구 사람이 부담 곧될것 같은데. You know, if I just call somebody, I could get help right away. It seems. 그 이후에 제가 지금까지 많은 어림이 있어. 한 번도 어느 누구에게 내가 뭐 양식이 없다, 어렵다 이야기해 본 적이. But from then on, until now, not once did I ever tell people I don't have food. I need help. I need this or that. 정말 많은 형제님들 도와주고 해서. Now I live very comfortably through the help of many brothers and sisters. And I've written several books. And these books have sold very well. And there's good income from those books. So I get to really live within the grace of God. But right then, what I precisely felt was. And I know if I tell the church brother or the sister, they'll help me right away. But but I want to rely on God, not on man. And so I prayed and I prayed. And right before the son was born, that sister came, helped us, and we were able to have the birth. Her name was Sister Che Guangja. But the first thing she said was, Ma'am, I worked at the gynecology at Busan Ilshin Hospital. And I have a midwife license. So please wait. And then ran over. And I could see this was how God was protecting and helping me. 그 뒤에도 여러 가지 어려운 일이 없지 않았지만. And afterwards there were many difficulties, but 어려운 일을 당할 때마다 하나님이 하시는 것을 정확히 알 수. Each time there was a difficulty, I could clearly see that God was at work. 이제 그 예수님은 now Jesus 귀신 들인 자 마음 안에다 in the heart of the demon possessed man. 예수님을 마음에 두기를 원해. Wanted him to keep Jesus in his heart. So he wanted to follow Jesus because he was afraid. What if Jesus leaves me and the demon comes back to me again? Jesus says, No, you stay here. However, whenever you meet people, when you meet your family, tell them how the Lord has given compassion to you. And he has no choice but to hear the words of Jesus. Oh, uncle, how are you, uncle? Oh, yeah. How have you been? Yes, uncle. I was possessed by the wicked demon. I lived in the tombs. And I cut my body. And I could not break out of it myself. But I met Jesus. And even now, it's so clear. You know, Jesus, he just walked in and came up to me and kicked out the demon from me. And the demon went into the swine. And then as Jesus was with me, Whenever he would meet his relatives and family, he would tell them about what had happened to him. And as he is speaking about Jesus, and while he's speaking about Jesus, who is in his heart? He is full of Jesus in his heart. Oh, he cast out the demon from me. The demon couldn't do anything. They begged after the swine. Our Jesus is amazing. And while he is speaking of Jesus, in his heart, he is completely full of Jesus. Even though I don't seek help from people, and each time I pray to Jesus, I was so thankful for the things that God allowed me. In Korea, in 1988, we had the Olympics in Korea. Seoul Olympics. The Olympic motto was, the world is Seoul. The motto of the Olympics was the world to Seoul and Seoul to the world. For the 88 Olympics, the whole world came to Seoul and had the Olympics. So we did the world to Seoul. And now we needed to do the Seoul to the world. 
but we were unable. 그 당시에 한국이 너무 너무 가난했어. And back then Korea was so poor. 한국 정부가 어느 누구도 여권을 만들어 주지 않았어요. The Korean government would not allow anyone to get passports. 그래 세계는 서울로가 됐는데. So we did the world to Seoul. 서울은 세계로가 안 되는 거예요. But we were unable to do Seoul to the world. 그래서 그때 80 9년 3월 달에 So at that time in March of 89 I read the newspaper 45세 이상 된 사람이 신청하면 여권을 만들어 준다고 처음 이제 대통령이 그걸 선언. The president had announced that people over the age of 45 for the first time would be able to get passports. 그래서 제가 여권을 만들었습니다. So I got a passport with my wife. 그 미국 대사가 나서 미국 비자를 신청했어요. And then at the U.S. Embassy, we applied for U.S. visas. 미국 영사가 우리를 하는 분이 부부냐고. And then the uh, consulate asked us, "Are you a married couple?" 아, 예, 그렇습니다. I said, "Yes, we are." 그래, 부부 같이 갈 거냐? Are you going to be traveling together? 아, 그러라고. Yes, we are. 잘 다녀오라고. Have a good trip. 그래서 이제 비자를 줬어요. And we got our visas. 그 비행기를 타고. And we got on the plane. 1989년 3월 달에. And in March 1989. <웃음> We went to LA, United States. And with a gathering of Korean Americans, we had a conference. And then in the fall of 89, we went to Berlin, Germany and held a conference. And that was what we did. And that was 1989. And then from 1990, we sent missionaries to America and then to missionaries all around the world. But the very amazing thing is, 그 시기에, around that time, the President Park Jong-hee of Korea, in he made a declaration about the government, 그, 뭐냐면, and what he said was, 그, 저, 천불소, 천, 아, 저, it says the October Declaration. And it is to a ten billion dollar export and one thousand dollar per capita income. He said that's the goal. And so he de declared it in October. He said, let's do this. And so October and a hundred and a thousand. Ten hundred thousand. Yeah. On October, 그다음에 백억을 and then ten billion dollars. 다음에 이제 천불 소득. And then a uh, one thousand dollar per capita income. 지금 한국은 삼만 오천 불입니다. Now right now, Korea per capita income is thirty-five thousand dollars. I'm not sure back then, but nobody believed we were going to reach a thousand dollars per capita income. 근데 그때 이제 그 팔십 9년에 전부 소득 아무도 안 됐다. But in 89 back then nobody believed we would reach $1000 per capita. 근데 실제 우리 전부 소득이 올라가는 그때 전부 막 어마어 지금은 35000불인데. Back then we reached $1000. We thought it was a big deal, but now we're at $35000. 우리 경제 성장하는. The economy grew so fast. 전 세계 우리 선교사를 보냈고 and we sent missionaries all around the world. 우리 선교사 가서 복음 그냥 구원받은 사람 재산받은 사람 많이 나. And after our missionaries preached the gospel, many people received the forgiveness of sins. 하나님이 우리 이 and so other people didn't think much of it, but we don't have any condition to be well off economically. We were one of the poorest countries of the world. And so the Korean people, even though the per capita income is not the highest, but people say the way we live is the most well off in the world. 한국 서울에 와 보면 If you come to Seoul, Korea. 낡은 차 타고 나면 한 명도 없어요. You don't see any old cars. 그게 특색이 다른 나라 가면 낡은 차 천만이 다니는 거예요. That really stands out from all the other countries. 서울에 현재 인구가 천만 명인데 There's 10 million people living in Seoul right now. 1.8명당 승용차 한 대씩. And there's a car per every 1.8 persons. 우리나라 기름 한 번도 안 나오는데 There's no oil from Korea. 우리 기름가에 돈을 무지물라 이 말이에요. But Korea makes a lot of money selling oil. 한국에서 정유하는 정유 기름이 
Because the gasoline refined from Korea has the highest octane levels in the world. And we can see so clearly God helping us in so many ways. Me, I was a nobody. But how my sins were forgiven by the blood of Jesus. And when I searched it closely through the Bible, many people who go to church in Korea today know Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But the very heartbreaking thing is, they know Romans 3.23, but almost nobody knows verse 24. After verse 23 is verse 24. In verse 23 we were sinners, and there is no Jesus in verse 23. But in verse 24, Jesus is there. And through his crucifixion at the cross, he tells us we have been justified by grace, freely. I did not do this. If I did it, it would not be grace. If I did it, it would not be freely. Not by me, but by the redemption done by the Lord. I came to believe this truth in my heart. And the amazing thing is, I didn't do anything at all. If we had to do this and that, this and that, to receive forgiveness of sins, mm. That would be works. It is not by us doing. Many people say, in the story of the man who fell among thieves, the lawyer said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And he asked Jesus. Jesus asked him, what is written in the law and how readest thou? Oh, it says do this, this and that. Then do so. Then ye shall live. And he asked him, who is my neighbor then? And Jesus talks about a certain man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho about the man who fell among thieves. The thieves beat him, stripped him, left him half dead. A priest saw him pass by on the other side. The Levite also passed by on the other side. And the Samaritan came and saved him. That Samaritan represents Jesus. It's not about us loving our neighbor as ourselves. We are unable to love our neighbor as ourselves. We need the grace of Jesus. Us receiving forgiveness of sins is not by us doing something. If we did something to receive forgiveness of sins, then the Savior would be me. No. Not by me doing it. But Jesus did it. It's about believing the cross of Jesus. Through that, we are redeemed. Jesus made us perfect. That's why this demon-possessed man, as he speaks about this, his heart is full of Jesus. And through that, his heart reigns in blessing through Jesus. Thank you. We'll continue on next time. Please take care. Be there, where grace abounds more. Pastor Oksu Park's lectures on the Gospel of Mark will continue every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on CTN. For spiritual counseling, visit us at gnmusa.org. Call 1-888-466-9846 for more information.